What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with Mark Jennison, the original comeback, the creator of this movement, the man that's going to help you change your life. Listen, today's topic. Fear. Yep, simple. Fear. Thoughts that come rushing in your side of your head. I want to talk about what I sat and wrote this morning as I was writing out my long posts for my Facebook and Instagram posts, and it hit me. I'm sitting on oceanfront. Southern California. I've been here hundreds and hundreds of times. As a matter of fact, I lived here. But I think back to the thoughts and the process that was going through my head for years and years and years as I was building this dream, this life that I envisioned, the way that I wanted to live my life. I'm not good enough. I don't deserve it. Did I get lucky? All these people really my friends. Like it was really just deep rooted fear inside of it coming from who I was to the point where I didn't want to let go of it. Almost to the point where I actually started to manifest it but as a matter of fact i didn't start to manifest it i manifested in reality not once not twice but three times and let the fear overcome me i let the fear take everything that i worked for relationships the business every dollar i had 75 million dollars my health my mental clarity my focus my taste buds everything I let fear ruin that. How did I let that fear slide into me and take over my life so freaking deeply, so easily? Was well, through the alcohol. See, there's a becomes a spot inside of your life where you get to the point where the uncomfortableness becomes your actual reality of your comfort because you're sitting inside of it. You're afraid to go out. You're afraid to break the change. Your mind starts manifesting. We are conditioned to the point where we do not actually truly want to be successful. It's easy to go status quo. It's, it's, it's hard to go out and do stuff. So no matter who you are, without years and years and years of conditioning and putting down that fear, it it makes sense, right? I buy it. But what I want you to understand is this. When you can let go of it and you can finally understand that inside there's that voice that's been calling to you. There's a reason you have these thoughts. There's a reason you want more. There's a reason you want to be successful. There's a reason you get up every day and go do it. There's a reason you drink the way you do to excess. You could solve anyone's problems, but you might not be able to solve yours, right? This one thing that you're saying, there's a reason for that. It's because this deep-rooted fear inside of you can drive you to the left or to the right. Left, opportunities wasted, relationships broken, mindset busted. To the right, abundance, ocean views, fancy cars, strong relationships, houses, boats. I don't really care what it is. Even that's just surface level shit. But on the right side, Removing that fear can finally become the man you want to be. And how do you do that? You listen. You make a choice. I can tell you the moment when I was sitting on the ocean in Southern, in Southern Florida. And the sky was pink. The sky was blue. It was a beautiful night. I'm sweating for shakes from the alcohol. I sat down. I just got a job or just applied for a job. I should say parking cars. That literally was going to be my life. I let everything get to the point where it was ruined that I was just going to fucking park cars and waste every potential I had. But I'm sitting there on the ocean, drinking a Corona, looking at the freaking beach. And I heard a voice that said, are you ready to listen to me now? Call it God, call it the universe, call it maybe just a crazy mindset. Maybe it's a moment that I went fucking nuts. I don't know. But I stood up and from that moment, I decided, yes, I was going to. I'd like to say at that moment, it was done. It was switched. I was over. I was on a path of normalcy and fear breaking and ground taking and man changing life. But no, it took day in and day out to condition my mind. As a matter of fact, even to this point, there's still times those fear thoughts creep into my mind, but I understand thoughts become things, things becomes emotions, things become actions. And when I can understand that and wrangle my mind around that, just like you, and we can put the fear to bed, I can charge through them. So my question for you guys today is this. What fears do you have? Why are you afraid to put down that drinking? Why are you afraid to change your network of people? Why are you afraid to start living the life that you truly want to be and be the man that you know you can be that's been called to lead, be the king of the castle, be the father you know how to be, make more money than you've ever thought about making, and literally leave a legacy so strong, it's going to impact millions of people. Think about that for a second. Deep cinematic pause right there. I want you today to make the choice to put fear down. In order to make that choice, you need to list out exactly what it is. The lesson of the day here is this. Very, very simple. 
quit letting fear fucking ruin your life. Quit letting fear dictate your drinking. Quit letting fear dictate the way you look at yourself in the mirror. And quit letting the surface level alcohol bullshit things you're blaming it on stop controlling your life. You are not powerless. You are powerful. You have it deep within you. Let it all go. That's it for today's Five Minutes of Fire with the Comeback Podcast with Mark Jennison. I hope you have an amazing day. And we will see you on the next episode.